as you can see here in this picture, we're going to learn and we're going to talk about a uh, business English, okay? Um, we're going to keep applying simple present, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of sequency, but all of them related to your own business, okay? So, before we start with the presentations that you're going to make, I want you to do a warm-up. This warm-up is just to relax a little bit and soltar la lengua un poquito, ya, para relajarnos un poco. So, something that, we, that we've seen before. Hablamos sobre un restaurante, okay? So, I'm going to read the sentences that you see here, and I need you to rearrange them to put in the right order. Esto es para relajarnos un poquito y vayamos haciendo cosas que son fáciles para nosotros y que aprendimos en las clases anteriores. Se llama un warm-up. Warm-up, un calentamiento, un precalentamiento, ¿ya? So, ¿Qué quiero que hagan? Van a ordenar del 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, al 10, del 1 al 10, el orden en el que ustedes hacen o realizan una cena, por ejemplo, en un restaurante. So, for example, have the main course means cenar el plato principal. Has for the view, preguntar por la, la cuenta. Sit down, look at the menu, book a table, have the starter, decided to go out for dinner, pay the bill, tip the waiter, have a dessert. Okay, so if you tell me uh, you, you want to go out for dinner, what do you do first? ¿Qué es lo primero que hacen? What do you do first if you see some of the sentences here? Tell me. Cuénteme. Decide, ¿Qué hacen ustedes primero? Tell me. Decide to go out for dinner. Ok, very good. So, decided to go out for dinner is the first one, right? That's number one. Because yes. before I do something, I have to think and decide it, right? Lo tengo que pensar y, y decidir. Then, what's the second action that you do if you want to go out for dinner? Uh, look at the menu. Look at the menu? And that uh, one? Uh, uh, no, a book, uh, a table. Book a table. Very good. Okay, so book a table means, book is un libro. But I have, how I've been explaining you, book it's a, a noun that changed to a verb. Ya, y en este caso este sustantivo va a ser un verbo. Y este verbo significa agendar, ¿ok? O reservar. No es como buquear, sino que reservar o, o agendar. Book a table. Agendar una, una mesa o reservar una mesa en un restaurant. Right. Very good. So, this is number two. Then, in the third place, what do you do for third? Decide to go oh, for dinner, uh, the first or no? Yes, that's the first. That's the first one. Yes. This is number one. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, that's the one. Two. Two is... Uh, Look at the table. Yeah. Oh, we say that this, wait a minute. Decided to go for dinner. That's number oh, yeah. one. Sit down. That's first. And um, sit down is three. Uh, sit down. Sit down. sit down. Book a sit table, down. then sit down. Right? Uh, nos vamos a sentar uh, en, una, en una mesa. Sit down, number three. Okay, okay. let me do something. Okay. Number three. Uh, look at, me, look at mm. the menu. Oh, no. Okay, with a menu oh, proxy. No, no. Okay, this is number one, uh, we say, right? Number one. Book a table. Book a table. Right. Three. Down. Okay. Sit the way there. Four or no? Someone said this is number three, right? Sit down. Then number four. Me siento. 
Tick, tick the widow or no? Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is the la one of the last things that we do. Esa es como de las últimas cosas que hacemos, eh, Roxy. Ah, ok, tip, eh, tip, eh. ¿Vos también en tip? ¿Qué significa? Tip, propina. ¿Vos tenés? Ah, ok. ¿Vos tenés? Ah, no, ok. okay. ¿Verdad que lo dijo en una clase anterior? Sí, acuérdense. The tip, the, the waiter, tip the waiter. Ok, so. Ok. Uh, number four, which uh, one? Number four, uh, look at the menu. Look at the menu, very good. So, look at the menu and then. And then. Uh, 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 have the main course. Okay, the main course, remember that is the plato principal. Okay. It's half the starter. Half the starter. And before the main course, we do, we have the starter. starter. El, acuérdense, el starter era el, el la entrada. Mm. Ah, yes. Yes. And now, after the, the end of the starter, it's the main course. Main course. Very good. So once we have the started, the main course, what do we have then? ¿Qué es lo que comemos después del main course? Have a dessert. 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 Very good. Okay, something that you need to know that dessert dessert is costly, it's, but it's with one S una sola S, yes, the best part of the menu. With one S, la palabra con solo una S es el desierto. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, this is number seven. Ok. Seven. Then eight. Which one? The eight. 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 Tip the waiter. Quieren puro darle la propina al mesero. The waiter must be so happy with you at the, at the restaurant. Ask for the waiter. <laughs> That's for the bill, right? Okay, ah, so that's for the bill. Yes. Okay. Pay the bill. Pay the night number nine. Pay the bill. Pay the bill. All right, that's nine. Pay the bill. And the last. In a number. Oh, that's number ten. You're very generous. You're very generous. If I were a waiter, I would be happy with you. Okay, so now um, remember that we've been working with the orders, the ordinal numbers. Nosotros hablamos de los ordinal numbers. This is the order that things happen. Acuérdense que es el orden de las cosas, que las cosas ocurren. Okay, so it's not a cardinal number, it's an ordinal number. What I'm going to do, add the abbreviation to every word. So first second, third, fourth, ¿se acuerdan lo que vimos el otro día? Third, fourth, five. Y aquí del cuatro en adelante, what I need to add? ¿Qué les agrego? Sí. 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 Ah, son las mejores alumnas, sí, sí. 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 los mejores sí. y las mejores alumnas. Sí. 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 All of them. Porque aquí yo estoy dando un orden a las cosas. First, second, third, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right? Ten. Excellent. You are wonderful. Very good. That's the order of the thing. So, uh, as usually, we've been talking about the objective of a class. So, uh, we talk about grammar structures, but not just to learn about grammar structure. I want you to apply them, okay? To communicate in English using them, okay? So, once you did the homework, let's share with the class, okay? So, I read my, I read my example uh, in the previous lesson. It was something like this. I work in a cafe. Here I have one employee. She helps with service and cleaning. I have two um, duties, las duties son las actividades que ella hace. I gave her two duties, that is, do the service and cleaning, okay? So, by the time I prepare the coffee, 
and I manage my business. Yo preparo los cafés y también administro mi negocio. Mary, that is the one that helped me, sometimes receives the payment. Okay? What, why do you think that she received the payment? ¿Por qué piensan ustedes que yo hago que ella reciba el, el pago? This is something very important in service. For hygienic. Okay? Por higiene. What about the payment? They manage the, the money. They touch the money, the coins, the bills. Yeah, that's why, right? For example, if I'm preparing food, yo estoy preparando la comida, o coffees, o juices, whatever, I can't touch the tax money, right? No puedo tocar el dinero si yo estoy recibiendo la, o preparando la comida. So, that's why I ask her to receive the payment, los pagos, and print the bills. Imprimir la Boleta. La boleta. La boleta. boleta. Yes. Very good. I love what I do and she loves too. Maybe she loves, maybe she hates it, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so that was my case. Uh, uh, I now I want you to read loud. Who is going to start first? ¿Quién va a comenzar primero? So we Chelis, perdón. Sorry. Llegué recién. Okay. Grace, welcome. Thanks. Uh, I am okay. Miss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a request. Janet. Okay. So I have a special request for uh, Blanca. She wants to be the first today and she's very brave. Okay. So I invite you to give an applause for Blanca, a warming applause. <laughs> okay. You're going to be the first one, so be brave. You are very brave, okay? Eres muy valiente. Brave Blanca. La vamos a poner como la, la valiente Blanca. Ya, yeah. okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. So. <laughs> okay, wait, Blanca. I'm going to invite everyone to put the mic on. Ya, yeah. Pongamos todos los micrófonos off para escuchar bien a Blanca y no tengamos problemas de interferencia. Remember that there are sometimes some, eh, some dogs bite barking. <laughs> Hay algunos perritos de repente que ladran y todo. Ok, so I'm going to put my microphone off and you do the same. Ok, Blanca. Ok. Ok. The Blanca Marty Company is dedicated to the preparation of healthy food. I buy ground materials, such as nuts, leguminous, and honey. I am responsible for, for the production. My children have uh, me and different activities in the business. We like to produce quality products so, so they customer feel happy. Um, we have advertisements on social and on the website. The means of the planet are debit card, cash, and transfer. We are located in the very full coastal town of Chico. Will you, we, we offer you a delicious coffee. I apologize for the pronunciation pronunciation I do not speak English I am not I wit I can <laughs> my microphone is up you did wonderful Blanca your pronunciation was good was good okay I, I'm so impressed with your business I didn't realize that you were so so uh, professional okay so you have all kind of payments you post on the website you produce many kind and big variety of products okay so you did a wonderful job Blanca excellent you're ready to export your products you're ready okay so <laughs> wonderful thank Very you good. thank you maybe you want to give some comments yeah. on the chat for your mate si quieren darle algunos comentarios a su compañera, here feel free to write, ¿ok? Si 
siéntanse con la seguridad de escribir lo que quieran. Congratulations, Saint Martin. Congratulations. Very good, Blanca, Bárbara, very good. <laughs> you know, Excellent, Blanca. Good. You did wonderful, Blanca. Thank Excellent. you very much. Blanca, I'm so impressed, I say, I seriously. Estoy muy impresionada con tu negocio, es realmente maravilloso, tienes muchas cosas, muchas cosas, que tengas métodos de pago que prom promuevas, que, eh, que lo más importante que son productos eh, healthy, saludables, healthy, and that's very important yes. nowadays. Eso es lo más importante hoy en día. Excelente, wonderful. Ah, you see, clapping the hands in the chat, very good. Ah, eh. <laughs> wonderful. So, who yes. wants to continue? Don't be afraid now. Yo sé que lo hizo muy bien y no tenga miedo ni vergüenza, ¿eh? pero que nos dejó la vara alta. Nos dejó la vara muy alta la blanca. I miss Marlene. Marlene, sweet Marlene. Yes, yes. Very good. Okay, Marlene. Now it's going to be your turn to talk. And, uh, okay, any comments? Remember, you can write on the chat. I'm going to put my microphone off. And the scene is all year, okay? Todo tuyo la escena ahora. Okay. My company is Nutramiel. I work in the farm. There I, there I have one employee. And he helps me to check bees. I produce honey and I make products from it. Some of the products that I make are the shampoo with honey, conditioner with honey, lotion with propolis, disinfectant with propolis, spray, aquí no sé cómo se pronuncia, bucofaringio, bucofaringial, esa es la palabra, bucofaringial. Ay, no escucho, no escucho la mis. <laughs> I'm gonna Así. look for it. Bucofaringeal? Yes. Spray bucofaringeal. Lo, lo leí como se escribe. Al final te lo voy a escribir, porque because it's a very uh, weird word, ok? Una palabra muy, okay. Rebusca, muy específica, ok? okay. Maybe there is no translation, but I'm going to try to find it out, ok? So, exfoliant with propolis and honey. Uh, Luis, my employer, check the bees before winter. Together we feed them and put them some med medicine for insect illness. I like what I do and my employer's work is a great help for me. That's all me. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very Thank good, Marlene. Okay. We have, been, we have been listening to you the, uh, class by class and you've been showing us the big, uh, the big variety of products that you have, right? Uh, yeah. So, mostly I knew what you were doing. So, thank you very much for sharing with the group. Uh, you have an amazing job, as, uh, as I say, amazing business. Um, I don't know, Marlene, uh, did you mention the social web or the social uh, uh, net, the redes sociales? Yes. What activities yes. do you do there? Yes. Um, yes. Right. Yes. I. <laughs> um, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, so, do you have the a name? Can you give me the name of your business? Your Nutra company? Nutramiel, Nutra Nutra right? Nutramiel. Nutramiel. I'm going to uh, find it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> www.nutramiel.cl Nutram. Oh, you have a, a, a website as well, right? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to connect my battery. <laughs> it's low. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here we go. I saved my life. <laughs> All right, so, Nutramiel. And you asked me as well for, I have something here that I want to show you. Nut, uh, Bucofari, uh, mm, 
that the way how you write it, buco faringe. Buco faringe, claro. No. Eh, yes. Buco faringio, y eso es lo que aparece ahí, sí. Pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Mm. O puede ser spray wow. para la garganta, más simple. Ok, that is a true spray. True spray, ok. Garganta, true spray. Uh, there is no translation for book of faringio, ok. So, when there is no translation, what do we do? It's to separate the word, how you say, like spray para la garganta. So, mm. it's a throw spray, throw spray, ok. Mm. Ok. Porque garganta, through, through, through spray. Ok, spray un atomizador. Ok. Sí, yes. Ok. Like my, my daughter says. A los atomizadores. <laughs> ok, so, excellent. Very good, Marlene. You did wonderful. Sí. You have a good presentation as well, ok? So, uh, who wants to do next? We already have Blanca and Marlene. Roxy, you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I, I. Ok, so, yes. it's your turn now. Okay. Hi, my name is Roxana. I am artisan and I work with my husband. He is an artisan. Your name is Roberto Calquín. We paint, play with design that represent our custom and tradition. We paint with glazes and pigment for high temperature. The name of our store is Artevichugen and located near square in Artevichugen in Bichugen. My mother is artisan too. She worked in her workshop near of mine. In my workshop works my ah, pardon. In our business we sell products but we also the work or are in invited to come or visit us my Instagram arroba again. My job is important for me and my family because it's with queen traditions. Miss está silenciada. I, here we are. Okay, uh, so thank you very much, Roxana. You did wonderful. You say that Instagram, Arte, in Instagram, you are like Arte Bichuquen, right? No doubts in the middle? No hay puntos en, entre medio, right? No, Arte no. Bichuquen, right? Arte Just like Arte Bichuquen. Okay, I'm going to follow you, okay? <laughs> so, Arte Bichuquen. You say that you're, um, you paint on glasses, right? Yes. So, uh, glazes are uh, or, or not? Like Murano? Uh, no. No? Because in, in, in it, on Italy, uh, that's very famous, like ah, the glass painting, I, I, right? I know, I know. I know, I see. It, uh, is that uh, the name? Mur Murano is, is uh, a it's a Place eh, donde hacen oh, the, where, the, the place paint. where uh, that kind of painting is made, right? Okay, Perdón. Roxy, Roxy, maybe you have some interference as well. Just the place yes. where that uh, kind of painting is made, right? Murano. No? I, I'm quite confused, but... Si, uh, yo puedo, uh, si yo puedo pintar... Si yo puedo pintar como... Como el arte de Murano, algo así. Eso te estaba preguntando. Murano es un lugar, ¿cierto? Painting? Donde hacen también... Donde hacen también... A ver... Y es similar. Es similar. similar? Es similar. Es similar. Es That's what I mean. Roxy, look at my screen. Because all of this is glass, right? It's glass paint. 
That's called the Murano art. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I say glazes, glazes, high temperature, glazes, no, no glass. No glass. No glass. All right. So. Clay. I, clay, I say clay, clay. All right, okay. With, so, with, with glazes, with glazes, high temperature. Okay, so this clay is, ¿cómo se llama esto? Arcilla, las, um, what's the name in uh, arcilla? Es el... Greda. Tannic. Greda, right, <laughs> greda. Very good. Okay, Rusty, maybe you can show us some pictures sometime, okay? Nos podrías mostrar imágenes de lo que tú haces. I'm sure that you do a wonderful job. You did awesome as usually, Roxy. Thank you for your participation. Uh, so, hi, Miss. Who who is next, Roxy? Wonderful. Maybe you want to give some comments for Roxy on the chat. You're free to do it. Dejémosle algunos comentarios a Roxy, a Marlene. That's already did. Okay, Vero. Now it's your turn. Okay. Okay, Benito, Miss. Tell me. So, what okay. do you do Ooh, okay. in Chipilco? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Roxy is the beautiful work. Uh, okay, you know, you know the art? Roxy's art? Yes, you know it's it? beautiful paints in the handcraft. Oops. It's beautiful. Very good. Thank you for your comments, Vero. Okay, okay. so... Berito, tell me, what do you do? What is your enterprising? Okay. I I am Veronica Calderon. I work with, uh, weekly in the touring office and indigenous affairs, the Wallanye Town Hall. I love to go daily to the work, ride, and visit. In my work, I have one assistant. Your name is Rita. She's cheerful and enthusiastic. She helps guide and square information decks of the tourist face and face, chat tweets, uh, they, the emails, and answer telephone calls. Um, we have reservation of service, excursions, food, accommodations, mm -hmm. and activity for notes, the south. Uh, I go to work in at the tourist Chiripilco Hill for in the point the high test because have signed since the Matequito Valley. Um, we go all over La Huerta de Mataquito Village, San Policarpo and Caune Church, Hacienda Veralillo, Stones Tacitas and Fonse of the Stones and others. I accompany craftsmen to fires and promotional events. Um, it or, organizes the tour and explains Uh, the visitors, the ancient history, history architecture, archaeological discovery, uh, sea niles and plant fossils. Uh, I tax the tourists is around the world city. At present, we are work on a project for the roads of the Promocaes native people of Mataquito. I love you, Mujov, and I love you to teach people how beautiful the Mataquito Vale, yo pasini, no, no sé. Our service is the cost is free. Okay, very good, Benito. <laughs> Excellent. You have a lot of information to give. Okay, um, Vero, keep your microphone on because I have some doubts. What you give a lot of information on that was wonderful. Uh, later on, I'm going to comment some uh, just little things that you need to improve. But uh, first of all, I want you to tell me something. I have some doubts about Mataquito Native. You told me that it's a road or there is a project that it's on the way or something like that to show the Mataquito Natives. Tell me a little bit more about it. Berito, tell it's me, what's the Mataquito Native? 
road a la ruta de Promacaus Native People. Ah. To promote nativos. Yes, people. Promaucaes Native People. Promaucaes Native People. Okay. That's I I didn't hear. So okay. um you have a big road. Uh with all those roads, you mentioned that you have many haciendas, restaurants, or things like that, right? So you take yes. the people and the road to all those places. How long does it take, Vero? ¿Cuánto te toma este tiempo, ese tour que tú haces? Que es muchas cosas. How long yes. does it take? A, medio, a half day or day half, half day, a half four, day. four hours, a, one hours and one day. Oh, wow. that's a lot. <laughs> is prefer is the prefer is the visitor. Uh, okay, Vigo, the, tell yeah, me, but, tell me, you you do a big road, right? Like uh, the whole day, right? You visit <laughs> restaurants, haciendas, um, uh, typical places and uh, historical places as well. Yes. Do you have any special agreement with all of them? Tienen algún acuerdo en especial que because maybe I don't know. They give you delicious menus for you free. Free food for uh, you. I don't know. <laughs> Tienes yes. algo que ganas algo con eso, te dan un menú gratis, alguna cosa mínimo, <laughs> ¿no? Pero it maybe, maybe if you visit a winery, they give you a bottle of wine, no sé. <laughs> a veces sometimes uh, so in the <laughs> for uh, the world in the in the state, estado, ¿cómo se dice? For, the state or government. The, uh, uh, or yeah. government. The for, government. Uh, for the world in the state is um, es como es uh, in the help and the enterprise. I'm sorry, I, I, is it is it um, help? Um, oh, they help. Uh, and 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 how and your enterprise enterprises enterprises you interview no enterprise? yes Inter emprendedores oh the enterprising yes very enterprises. good <laughs> okay good yeah you need to help them right sí. okay but any anyway they should give you something ellos deberían darte algo maybe for free the restaurant Un de pase vida. libre, un menú libre para que vayan los fines de semana a comer. <laughs> because you are, you are giving free uh, advertising. Tú lo promueves gratis, for free. <laughs> yes, yes. You recommend their service. Okay, yes. very good, Berito. You do a wonderful job. I would love to, to work as a tourist guy. I love yes. it. Yes. I love your job. I'm jealous about it. Me encanta lo de la guía turística. Te celosa de tu trabajo. <risa> ok, who is next? Ay, Miss Janet. Janet. Ok, now. My drink okay. is a laundry and have not employers, but my son helps me with the business. He usually gets the clothes and take customers they receive the payment. I am the only one who uses the machines. But to ensure a good wash, I watch all types of clothing. I don't iron, but I don't like. Call me. <laughs> okay, very good. I was just taking a note because you say something important. Janet, you did wonderful. But something very important that you say to make sure the things are do are done well, right? I do by my own. You're very jealous with your business. Eres muy celosa con tu trabajo, Janet. Asegurarte que las cosas se hagan bien las hago yo misma. Muy bien. 
<risa> But sometimes si no you can trust in someone. ¿Ah? Si, no, si no pierdo los clientes, por mis. <risa> claro, of course. Como hay un proverbio que dicen al, al ojo del amo engorda el caballo. Yeah, eso, yes. Algo así o no? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? Okay, very good, Janet. Excellent. So your son helps you, right? Does he get something? Maybe some payment? Yo. No. Le pagas, Janet, porque te ayude o solo for free? Please. Sí. Payment. Sí. Yes. Miss. Ok, mira, qué buena idea, están, están dejando los links en Instagram, los Instagram, los Facebook, todo eso. Sí, que hay un pasado, hace dos algunos cupones de la región metropolitana debido a las cifras que todavía siguen siendo... ¿Qué pasó, Grace? ¿Y ya? ¿Tú? Eh, ¿Ah? Ok, escucho las ¿Yo? noticias. Ah, perdón, espera, es que tengo... <risa> Oye, no, Grace, déjeme apagar la tele. Ustedes son los únicos que se portan bien por ahí ya. Y canten por ahí, son los únicos que se portan bien en la región. The only one that we hate. Sí, <ríe> eso es no, bueno. Linares no, no, ya va a fase cero, hoy día fue fase cero, ya no, no hay caso con los linarenses. Oh, oh. <ríe> Licantén no también, mis. Licantén eh, también. Sí, no también, mis. Horrible. Behaviorism, el, el comportamiento es really bad, bad behaviorism. Vamos, ok, Grace, we hear you now. Yeah, yes. I am work in a pastry shop. Here I work alone and summertime. My husband helped me in the manufacture of savory dough, such and empanadas, and cocktail bread, y prepara cake. I prepare cake, various sweet and sell to the general public. Um, the truth is I love me. I work harder with my clients. Congratulate my for so much. Love delivery and every detail. Eso es. Very good. What you say at the last, okay, it was wonderful. So you you are dedicated hundred percent to your business, right? Mm -hmm. So great. Uh, you said that um, yeah, you do the cakes, right? You bake them, you prepare, you decorate, etc. You sell yeah. them, and you love. And who's the one in charge of delivery? You do as well, right? Uh huh. Okay. Sí. Okay, so you do the delivery. So someone else help you? ¿Cómo? If someone help you in your business? Oh, le escucho entrecortado. Okay. Does someone help you, Grace? ¿Te ayuda alguien? Eh, no. No, eh, you do a by veces, your own. Sola. A veces nomás, eh, cuando está mi esposo en, en casa, eh, él me ayuda, pero es lo mínimo, las masitas más, más pequeñas, lo, los detallitos chiquititos nomás. Mira, en cuanto sí. a masa, de empanadas, las empanadas, eso, pero en realidad trabajo sola todo. No, good. Uh, so you have enough time right what about this um, celebration that is coming soon do you have many requests for mother's day tiene muchos requests para la día de la madre maybe eh, you sí. you make um, a little box for mothers una pequeña sí. cajita para no, las madres no, con no. Un mix. no no yo no hago esas cosas yo solamente hago lo que son las tortas y esa hay varias gente de acá que hace ese tipo de cosas entonces yo eh, también no sé si es so, bueno, he sido siempre así dejo trabajar también a los demás no me gusta ah, acaparar okay. otras cosas que no, no están bueno, están a mi alcance, pero encuentro que todos podemos trabajar entonces okay. me han pedido okay. cosas así pero yo no, las derivo donde las niñas que trabajan ese tipo de cosas siempre y cuando esas niñas te compren a ti 
No, no. Yo las recomiendo, pero me compran a mí. Sí, no, no, no hay sí, problema con eso. Es el cuento, vamos, dale. No. Okay, es que es mucho, es, de verdad que es mucho trabajo. Eh, lo que yo hago aquí en cuanto a torta, pasteles, atender mi negocio, me quita demasiado tiempo. Entonces, agregar un extra... Eh, sería dejar de lado a mis hijos, mi casa, entonces no, es mucho. Yes, I know. Yes. Okay, great, wonderful. I, I, I've been telling you, if you don't change your picture there, I'm going to end up like this. Because always <laughs> when you are plugged, I see, I see your wonderful picture, your cakes in there, and I feel so hungry. <ríe> me da mucha hambre <ríe> ver tu foto. Change it, change it. <ríe> y ahora hago tortas de yogur, imagínense, mira, estoy cociendo para oh. estoy haciendo tortas de yogur. Tengo que rellenar unos berlines, entonces no me alcanza el tiempo. Ando con el teléfono corriendo para arriba. <ríe> <ríe> okay, okay, guys, I know that you're very busy. So if you have a, a web page or something that people here can follow. Maybe you have a social net, tiene alguna red social o algo that we can follow? Eh, sí, eh, Facebook, Instagram y eh, una página web que me, esto, me están ayudando a crear. Marketplace también estoy en eso. The Marketplace, ok. Write the address in here, ok. Escriba las direcciones acá. Ah, okay, yeah, say Roxy, true, circular economy, <laughs> very good economy. Okay, so, excellent, great, very Thank good. You. Okay, um, who is next? ¿Quién continúa? Ninos acá. No, es que yo hablo, no, no, qué horrible. <laughs> we, we want to learn more about your business, your enterprise. It's about pay, uh, printing, right? Es como una tienda de que imprime cosas, una... Um, tell me a little bit about your business, Inosca. Mm. Ya, si escribí algo, voy a ver cómo me sale. Ah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Vamos, te escuchamos. Pongo mi micrófono. My business tries to persona, personal, personalize articles for daily use for gifts for institutions. We have social media page and physical space so that you can see our products. Eso. What's the name of the social that, social net that you have? What is the name of the Did you write it somewhere here? The name of your página? El Centro Oc. El Centro. El Centro Oc. Okay. Is that on Facebook, Instagram? Sí. Both of them? In ambas? Yes. Okay, so you say that you do personalized objects, like for institutions. Okay. What kind of object do you do? Do you do uh, cups, como sí. tazones, or things like that? Yes. Okay, maybe you print t-shirts, polera, you print t-shirts as well? Yes. Okay, what else do you do? Come on. ¿Qué más haces? What else do you do? Maybe cup, gorras, cup, tazones, jockey, poleras, polerones, eh, eh, también eh, bolsos reutilizables, y todo okay, lo que se pueda personalizar. <laughs> Excelente. Ok, Ninoska, did you prepare something for Mother's Day? ¿Cómo? Have you Have you um, a preparing? Have you been preparing something for Mother's Day? Para el Día de la Madre? Do you have something special that you want to uh, open? Sí. 
tengo unos cuadros sublimables que ya los subí ahí a la página para que la gente los vea. Ok, so don't forget to check in el centro, ok, there is something special for your mother if you want to give her a gift. Ok, gift, that's the name, gift. Un regalo, un, un algo para la mamá, gift for mothers. Ok, oh, you have it there? Ah, oh, look at that, it's showing. You're, you're following Roxy Minosca, right? El centro, ok. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, Ninoska. Wonderful, excellent. Okay, Ninoska, keep going, keep going. Sí, que sí. Next one. Who is next? Let's see. I'm going to check the list here. I'm sorry, no chat. The list of participants. It's Delaida. You read it already. No, Delaida. Marilu, Marlene, Pauli, Miriam, Pauli, Sol. I am. Hey, Pauli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you were you hiding. Estabas escondiendo, Pauli. You were hiding. Yo, de que estaba a la vez en reunión de curso de mi hija. Entonces tenía las dos cosas abiertas, las dos reuniones. <laughs> Okay, I understand. Pero okay, ya... Pauli, you ready now? Sí. Okay, here we go. The stage is all your. Todo el escenario para ti. Marlene, your I... microphone is on. Yeah, I work in a dry fruit shop. I have a partner. She's my niece, Javiera. We sell dry fruits, candies, and gummies. Also, we sell coffee and cakes. Uh, in Emporio, we sell our products in bulk. Then we weigh the products according to what the client needs. Uh, we try to care the environment using only paper bags. This, this is my job. <laughs> Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so you say um, that you sell your products, your nap, uh, in paper, uh, in paper bags, right? Yes. yes. To save the environment. That's very good. So you are environmentally, environmentally friendly. Okay, que eres una amiga, amiga, amiga del medio ambiente, right? So, uh, have you seen all the gram, the gram? Como una empresa que vende el gramo, that's something like you do, right? Exacto. Um, but it's products in bulk. bulk. In bulk. Excellent. I like it. Uh, do you have any details, Pauli? What kind of uh, nuts or dry fruits do you sell? Like, for example, you say like dry fruit. But what kind of dry fruit do you sell? Or do you prefer? Uh, yes. Understand, pistachos, no sé cómo se dicen en realidad, um, nuts, eh, almond, eh, to cinnamon, eh, maní, no, no recuerdo. Nut. Ok, we have peanut, peanut, uh, Uh, chestnut, um, yes. uh, the other one is almond, uh, hazelnut, um, there are so many kind of nuts, right? It's like the berries. We have okay. many products, uh, dry fruits, uh, mango, man Ginger. dry mango, um, ginger. yes, can you hear <laughs> Ginger, <laughs> ginger, <laughs> it's a very healthy ginger. Yes. Can you hear it, ginger? Okay, so so all of them they have this product to um like the drying. Do you have the drying machine? You no. The machine de, de only, no, only buy the products and you buy them. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Pauli, for sharing. You said that you work with a partner, right? You have a partner. Yes, my niece Javiera. Ah, your niece. 
So she is the one in charge for selling, or you are, or both of the both of you? Uh, both. Both. Okay. Both. So you have a shop. Yes. This shop is in Bichuquen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, in Bichuquen Lake. In a Bichuquen Lake. Okay. What about uh, Pauli? Uh, what about the situation? Tell me a little bit about the situation that you've been living now with this pandemic. Okay. So it's been long time closing your business, your shop. No. No, no. you you uh, keep it open. We are open because um, it's esen essential products. It's essential, right? The first need, primera necesidad, the first need, because it's food, right? Yes. So, but yourself, yourself have been increasing or decreasing? Increasing yeah. or decreasing? Decreasing. Right. The people um, come to Bichuquen Lake, uh, uh, they, they go... <laughs> They go to our city. Sorry, I didn't get. Out. So the people that usually go yeah. to be together. Yes, um, the people that come to be together uh, in summer. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't come now. O se fueron. <laughs> they left. Se yes. fueron. They left. Yes. Okay. So. It's been hard, I know, it's been really hard, the situation, but I'm sure that the sun will bright for you, all of you, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's be faithful, okay? Tengamos fe nomás que el sol les brillará en algún momento. This pandemic has to be gone. Tiene que terminarse, tiene que irse, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, Pauline, just stay strong. Quédate firme nomás en tu negocio. You have a good business. You get, you <laughs> Your enterprise is really good, so keep there, keep there. So, thank you, Pauli. Who is now? Dilaida, now I'm here. You, you're yeah. ready. <laughs> Profesora, a, a ver, arregle algo para contarle un poquito de lo que yo hago. Yeah, I'm gonna put my yeah. microphone up to hear you. Yeah. I do scratch craft. Crochet fabric, mapuche long, knitting stick, leather, jeans, and clay, and other cafe. No, it's okay, ah. we are hearing you. <laughs> No, es eso nomás, que yo hago artesanía, bueno, le hago right. en español para que me entienda lo que le, yeah. lo que le quise decir. Excelente. Que yo hago artesanía, tejido a crochet, telar mapuche, tejido palillo, cuero, hilados, greda y otras manualidades. Play, uh, excelente. So, Delaida, do you have any place that we can see your craft. ¿Tienes algún lugar donde podamos ver tus crafts, tus artesanías? Because you do many things and you work mm -hmm. with many materials. Tell me, Facebook. where do you post? In Facebook? Facebook y Instagram. Oh. Okay, Artes what's your name in Facebook? Eh, artesanía Crochet de Laida. Con punto en Artesanía punto dat artesanía Croche de la ida da croche es croche sorry croche o crochet con croche de la ida conté al final de la de la ida hay otro punto antes de la de la ida artesanía no. dat crochet de la ida right sí. is that on Instagram, Instagram y Facebook. Mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook. So everybody follow the information. Thank you for sharing uh, your enterprising with us. Um, we would like to. 
se escucha muy cortado profesora sí, some pictures okay I know I know the light that I also hear with some interference se escucha igual con interferencia de Laida. Pero Bien. vamos a revisar tus trabajos, ¿ya? Thank you very much, Delaida. As the same as uh, we did with... Con Blanca, you are very brave. Muy valiente, muy valiente. <ríe> Extra. Gracias, profesor. Nos dice todo lo que necesitamos saber en inglés. Muy bien. Gracias. Very good. ¿Está lista para vender al extranjero? <risa> De la edad. Tell me, sí. tell me, I live in United States and people they pay that you you cannot trust how much they pay for the crust. Pagan oh, pero una cantidad de plata por las artesanías, mucho. Pagan yeah, muy bien porque reconocen lo que uno hace de verdad como artesano, saben lo que es el valor de las cosas de las personas que hacen con sus manos la, los cosas objetos. que aquí en Chile y el Licante no lo conocen, creen que uno lo hace no, no lo valoran pero créeme sí, de no, la edad no lo valoran si pudieses, no lo valoran. Si pudieses llegar afuera a otra parte con tus artesanías con tus cosas, créeme que puedas abrirte un mundo totalmente distinto, mucho mejor <risa> Tenemos cosas maravillosas, podemos mostrarlas al mundo. Así me está diciendo Esto. Minta aquí. Una, una consulta, sí. creo que la página era Etsy, que es como para poder hacer... Es como un... Uh, ¿Plataforma? Sí, es una plataforma en donde la gente te puede pedir a ti cosas, como tipo manualidades, ojalá manualidades por esa plataforma, y tú luego se las envías. Ah, mira qué bien, no la conozco, pero pero sí Exit, eh, exit. como salida, Exit. Tengo, ¿Así? No, no, E S T Y, no, E T S Y. E T S Y. Etsy. E Etsy. E T Etsy. S Y. A ver, un poquito. Etsy. Ver esto? ¿Dónde está? Ah, estoy con ayudanta profesora con mi hija. Muy bien. <risa> Very good. So it that the web H sí, uh, lo último. Etsy. Sí. Etsy. 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 So you post your product and you put the price in euro, right? Mira, mira, I didn't know that about this place. Very good. You see, Jay will read craft. I love you. <laughs> Food. Ah, okay. I know that what you're talking about. Interesting. So, Etsy.cl. Etsy.cl. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you, Delaida. Thank you, Rose. Um, thank you you uh, to your daughter for he for being helping you. <laughs> okay, who is next now? Who is next? I see. <laughs> um, eh, me faltan dos, Marilu. No, she already. No, yes, no. Miriam. Yes. Miriam and Sol. Miriam, now it's your turn. Let's do it. Miriam, talk I a little bit yes. about what you do. It's all good. Después de todo lo que estoy súper nerviosa, bueno, tengo un problema en hablar en público. Así que voy a comenzar. My business is a project and tour operator in the in the search uh, region. Uh, is um, uh, um, My idea is um, coming nature. Uh, rest and the ancestral culture part on the tour 
will we speak in the Mapuche language? Um, más que nada sería eso. Sí, no sé si se entendió bien. No yes, está, we so you are a tour operator in the sixth region, and you are basically in charge to go to those uh, or to show the ancestral places, right? Uh, Miriam, did yes. you mention something about Mapudungkum? So, uh, do you speak Mapudungkum? Estoy aprendiendo Mapudungkum. Se escucha te gustado, Miss. Okay, so just give me a second. Okay, Miriam, is it better now? No. Mejor la, ahora sí? ¿O no? Sí, ahora sí. Sí, ya. Escucho mejor. Eh, Miriam, tell me, um, uh, who are the Mapuzungun? Eh... Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, hey. Who are the ones that participate or take that kind of tools? Do you usually do the tours to Chilean or foreign? Chilenos o extranjeros? Ambos. Both. Okay. Sí. And do they understand in English or in Spanish, the, the foreign? In Spanish, eh, preferentemente en español. Okay, mostly it's in Spanish. Okay. Ya, What about people bien? from another country? Miriam, uh, because we receive people, uh, tourists from different countries, uh, I, I know that uh, Brazilian, they love Chile, so they usually visit us in, in winter. Yes. So have you ever people who speak? Miss, la sigo escuchando antes de Happen. Medium. Mm -hmm. Oh, no está, se fue, <ríe> no la escucho. Yo tampoco escucho a nadie, solo a Miriam. Hola. <ríe> Yo tampoco. Entonces no hay mi señal. No, no. no. Vamos. <ríe> Miss. ¿Me escuchan? Tell me. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Me había perdido un momento. Me fui, <risa> me fui de vacaciones. No, ¿me escuchan ahora o no? Yes. 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 Y ahora sí. Maybe, yes. maybe we have some, uh, some interference. Okay, Miriam, I was telling you and I was asking you, if you, if you have to, uh, I mean, you have to do the tour or to take the people from different nationalities, personas de distintas nacionalidades. So how do you do it? You speak in Spanish or in English? Uh, in both. In, in both. both. Okay, so very good. Yes. Okay, um, I would like to know a little bit more about your job. Your, uh, you say that this is not an enterprising, this is a job. Okay, I would like to, to know something else. Okay, me gustaría tener más información sobre tu trabajo, Miriam. Okay. Danos más detalles, danos más detalles. O sea, se lo puedo dar más en castellano que en inglés porque me cuesta okay. un poco en inglés. Ya, vamos, tell me. Eh, estoy estudiando Mapuzugún en forma análoga para poder dar parte del tour en Mapuzugún. Para no, la no, gente no. que está interesada en aprender, en uh -huh. encontrarse con, con parte de la cultura que, que fue un poco arrebatada por, por eh, la invasión española. Mm. Y también habla parte de la cosmovisión y todas esas cosas y eh, estoy trabajando con un asesor del centro de negocios Inakeyu, que está en la novena mm. región de Nueva Imperial. Él es yeah. un antropólogo, así que me está asesorando por la parte de la pertinencia, porque como soy una ah. no mapuche eh, mm. y quiero aportar dentro de la revitalización, eh, para que no hayan problemas ni nada de eso, me están asesorando. Así que estamos trabajando en conjunto y estoy tomando también las clases de, 
de Mapusugun, con usted con inglés y también estoy aprendiendo por otro lado la lengua de señas. Quiero hacer más oh. adelante un tour ahí con aprender parte de lo que es lengua de señas. Yo que sé o mapu de ambas 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 de 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 como es una lengua solo que se traspasó a nivel oral, no escrito, entonces existen Mapudungun, Chesungun, Mapudungun y otras lenguas más, que son la misma. A la, sí, sí, la son exactamente igual, sí, al escribir sí, sí, las correcto. Both of them are correct, uh, sure. very good and accepted. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Marlene. Uh, uh, I think that your job is very interesting and You also are very interested on learning, so keep going. You're doing very well. So let's keep going with the uh, we need two presentation. That is um, the, the Gloria and Sol Marilu. We need three. So hello, Miss. Sol. Hello, everyone. Hello, my name is Soledad. Um, this moment, Sol, I don't give me a know second. How... Give me a second. Before you start, I want to request Marlene and Marilu to put the microphone off to avoid interference, okay? Thank you. So, Sol, now it's your turn. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And open the camera or no is necessary? Miss, can you can you hear me? <laughs> Here we go. No, it's up to you, I say. It depends on you. It's up to you. If you want to show your face or if you don't, okay. how do you feel comfortable? Okay. There we go. Um, well, hello. Everyone, my name is Soledad. In this moment, I don't have um, a business. I am still uh, thinking uh, what to do. <laughs> uh, my classmates are um, an experienced. Uh, look for um, a business. I like the party job. I like craft. I like um, her. Uh, Here English because uh, this is a Russian uh, this class um, I like uh, here uh, my classmate um, because uh, they uh, they speak uh, that uh, their their uh, business. It's very, it's very interesting, interesting for me. Very well, Sol. <laughs> Good. So you've been having fun to hear what uh, your mates in here do, okay? So, uh, Sol, I want to thank for your kindly participation. You've been mostly uh, full, full connected, connected to all the classes. So um, I, I just I hear you with some interference. I'm now thinking that it's my problem, my connection problem, because I hear like with a little sound at the background. But can you just can you tell me something a little bit what you say at the beginning, please? Can you repeat for me? Because <laughs> I have some seriously interference. Okay, so just repeat a little bit what you say at the beginning. Something what you do, okay? So I want to hear again. So your micro, your microphone. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Uh, can you hear me? 
Yes, uh, I hear you, but sometimes I like I miss the connection. Okay. Me too. All right. Me too. Um, I say, um, um, uh, hello everyone. Um, my name is Soledad. In this moment, I don't have a business, but I think um, in the future, a uh, new business. But in this moment, I don't know. Uh, I don't know do. Um, my classmate is an um, experience for the look, uh, the, um, the look at uh, a uh, new business. Um, I like the, um, the cook and the bakery cook. I like the um, craft. I like paint, but I don't good in, in general. Um, but I like this here, um, the speak uh, my classmate uh, for, for the, um, the business. Okay, that part I hear that. But at the beginning I missed. So you said that you are unemployed. Unemployed means without a job, right? Okay, so uh, yes, let's say that your presentation is really good I also agree about that you have a good participation and a good pronunciation as well so I, I wanted to ask you something did you learn English at school yes um, this moment my ha me, my son is in house cloud class uh, class online in house I I uh, together him um he is a primary school but in uh, his school is playgroup uh, his style uh, style of playgroup a playgroup program yes. uh, breaking um this year is a first grade um he have uh, a lot of class in english I intend um, here in uh, I, I intend here uh, he, his class. Okay, you I'm help. I, yes, I got it. <laughs> so he, he is in a British or bilingual school. Um, not necessarily British or British, but it's very important the English in the, the school. And the sport and the English is very important. So they have a big amount of school. hours, many hours. Yes, in but no all class in English. Only three, three times, three times, three times a week uh, class of English. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, uh, so uh, you you say that you are trying to look or find a job or. To create an enterprise, in, um, that's why you are participating in all kind of courses. So very good. So good. Thanks. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Saul, so, for sharing. And we gonna continue up with the last one. I guess it's Marilu. Marilu, you're the last one, or we need someone else? I'm not sure. Conté recién. ¿Quién me falta, Marilu? Miss, se le, se le cortó, parece. Vamos a esperar un momento que la Miss está con un problema de conexión. I'm connected, no? Ahora sí, mis. Ahora la escucho. Ahora sí. Ok. Dejé de presentar porque no hay nada que esté presentando ahora. Si mejoramos la conexión. Ya. Perfecto.
Oke, okay, uh, please. Ahí, ¿me ven? Eh, ahora estoy conectada. Sí, estoy conectada. Ahora, sí, ahora la escuchamos, sí. pero delante se escuchaba muy cortado. Mm, ya. Ariluz, ¿qué pasa, Ariluz? Terminamos con las presentaciones. ¿Me escucha? Sí, ahora sí, Ariluz. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Ariluz. Ancraft. Let's begin. Ya. Yeah. Ancraft. Eh, first. And by the wall. Chisila. Chisil in the market. And the cheese very keen. Cheese side. The best quality wall for me. Um, watch and spin the wall. I'm preparing the world today and um, wait. Well. Okay, Marilu, very good, very good. So, Marilu, you basically work alone, right? Tu trabajas solita, Marilu. Sola, sí. Yes, uh, that's what we were talking about. Um, uh, you said that you are a craft woman, right? You do some crafts. Uh, your crafts are basically in wool, right? In lana. You mentioned someone, uh, this person that it's called Vila, Vila, right? ¿Cómo era el nombre, Marilu? What's the name? Sila. Sila. Sila, right? She doesn't work with you, but she's the one that provides the wool, right? Ella es la que te, te trae la lana, te vende la lana. Sí, And ella. you've been talking about her in third person. Usaste la estructura en tercera persona con ella, con Sila. Excellent, excellent, Marilu. Marilu, do you have a website where we can see your craft? ¿Algún, con alguna página web o algún Facebook, Instagram, where we show, you show your craft? Uh, Facebook y WhatsApp. Oh, you use WhatsApp and Facebook. Maybe someone can request your pictures, pictures of your uh, craft, imágenes de tu, tu eh, artesanía, de tus cosas que creas por WhatsApp. You can write them on the chat. Puedes escribirla aquí, Marilu, en el chat, la página de Facebook, cómo te podemos buscar para ver tus cosas en y Facebook. tu número, right? Ya, yeah, ok. ¿Cuál es tu Facebook? Facebook. Eh, Telares Lulu. La escribe Marilu. So, it's Telares Lulu. Sí. Lulu. Telares Lulu. On Facebook, right? Ok. Thank you very much, eh, Marilu. Thank you. You did wonderful. Lo hiciste súper bien, Marilu. Gracias. ¿Pasó el miedo? Marilu. <laughs> She was quite scared. <laughs> Ay, un poquito asustada, Marilu. ¿Ah? Me dan nervios. Está un poquito asustada, Marilu. Aquí de nuevo. No. I'm here. I'm back. ¿Me ven? Ahora sí, Miss. Se me ve, pero está pegado. ¿Me ven? No, there must be some connection problems, but we have the last uh, activity, so uh, it's not. Eder? Sí, Miss. Eder, do you have the presentation, right? In case I need the connection. ¿Tienes la presentación tú en caso que me caiga? Mejor probemos, eh, veamos. ¿Cómo vamos? Y si me vuelvo a caer. Ok. 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 So, for all of you, um, I want you to tell you that we have the last activity. It's quite short. But eh, I hear... Wait, wait. Someone has the volume. 
maybe Marlene. Marlene. Ay, sí. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Me escuchaba doble. <laughs> Con eco. ¿Mm? O Eder, ¿tú tienes el audífono? No, ya. Yeah. Ok, we're going to do the last activity. And this activity, it's about dates. Ok. Um, eh, ok, we're going to talk a little bit about important dates. Ok. So, what we're going to do, this is speaking activity, it's going to be related to the, ne the next uh, one, where you're going to do, or you're going to create a calendar uh, where you organize your uh, duties. The duties son las actividades que tú haces para tu negocio, ok? In here, I want you to talk or use verbs and some complements or nouns that are related to your business. But this one are going to do... After we learn the day. Ok, vamos a aprender primero la fecha y después vamos a hacer un calendario con toda la descripción de nuestras actividades. Ok, so, first of all, I want you to describe some important dates here. You can see in my pictures. We have New Year, Halloween, that it's related to the old Saint day or the death, the death, death eh, day que lo podemos llamar de tres formas, a veces es Halloween, el Día de Todos los Santos, el Día de los Muertos, right? Um, national Holiday, that is en nuestro feriado nacional, and also Christmas. So, who can tell me the dates where are celebrated, when are celebrated those eh, important dates? In English, ¿quién me dice cómo se leen estas fechas? Anyone who wants to participate? ¿Con fecha se refiere a mes y día? Yes, day and month. Ok. ¿Quién es? Verónica. Vero, tell me. Uh, Las cuatro. Oh. Four, four pictures. The, tell me one, at least one. Uh, ok. Um, de... Uh, The Happy New Year is on December 31st. Um, the the National Holidays of Chile is is on September 18th. Mm. Um, the um, uh, Christmas Christmas Day is on December um, 25 um, on the uh, Happy Halloween, no? Halloween. Yes. Yeah, it's Halloween. is on October uh, 13th. 13th. October 30, 30th? El 30th or 31st? ¿Es 31 ah, o 30? Hoy se 30? me olvidó. No me acuerdo. ¿31? 30. <laughs> I believe mean, it's 31, right? Okay. Thank okay. you very much, Vero. Thank you. So, very good. Uh, Vero, Vero told me the, the, the month and the day, right? Because when we talk about special dates, we don't say the year. It's like when we talk about our birthday. Right? We celebrate our birthday year by year, right? So it's not like uh, one specific year. So here I have the month of the year that I want you to hear the pronunciation, okay? The first one is, I hear the dog barking. El perrito de quién? Sol, no? Who is the dog? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so. Listen to the pronunciation of the mom. Um, before that, I want to uh, tell something. Uh, Vero, uh, you said that the New Year celebration was in December 31st. Era el diciembre 31. Yes, we celebrate uh, uh, the night before uh, 1st of January. Okay? Nosotros celebramos 31, pero el 31 nosotros celebramos la víspera. La víspera, que es New ah, Year's sí, sí. Eve. Okay. ¿Ya? Mira, let me write somewhere here. Aquí, mira, en esta parte voy a escribir. For example, when we celebrate la víspera de algo, nosotros decimos New Year Eve. Yeah. Es okay. Esta palabra, Eve, Eve, es la víspera de algo. 
We also celebrate, for example, Christmas in, on, sorry, on eh, December 24th, right? Celebramos la víspera de Navidad, the Christmas. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, listen to me, to my pronunciation. We have January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay? So, uh, here I want to show you something also about the season. The season son las estaciones. We separate the season in three months. Las separamos de tres meses. For example, we have, let's begin for summer. Summer is June, July, or August, but on the other hemisphere, okay? Tenemos on the north hemisphere, tenemos el hemisferio norte y el hemisferio sur, que es donde estamos nosotros. For the Americans, the North Americans, summer is in June, July, on August. For us, summer is on December, January, and February, right? Jan December, January, and February. So, and then every three months we have a season. Después de cada tres meses vamos teniendo un cambio de estación, que lo llamamos el equinoccio, right? So, we have summer, autumn, winter, and spring que sería verano, otoño, invierno y primavera, right? So, in which season we are now? ¿En qué estación estamos ahora? ¿En qué, en qué temporada? ¿En qué estación? Tell me, please, I'm a little bit lost. Autumn or fall? Autumn. Autumn, autumn, right? Y nosotros cambiamos de estación los 20, por ahí, los 20 de, de cada tres meses. So, autumn starts on 20 of March. Empezó el 20 de marzo, right? No? It's all right. 20 de marzo, right. abril, mayo. Yes. Oh, okay. We, we start autumn on 20 of March. Okay, so thank you very much. Look at those uh, uh, frames that I have here. Tengo dos marquitos aquí. One with the British way how to say the dates on English, and the other one the American way how to say the dates. Okay? This is mostly like the way how we do, uh, we write and say the, the dates. Este es como lo que hacemos nosotros. We say the day, the month, and the year. But the Americans do opposite. They say the month first, then the day, and the year. How do we read it? For example, the 40th of September 1971. The Americans say September 40th, 1971. Okay? So, what today's date? Who can tell me today's date? ¿Quién me puede decir la fecha de hoy? Ya estamos en Ya, ¿quién habló ahí? Dígamela. Tell me. No las veo, acuérdense que no las veo, no sé quién está hablando, pero tell me the date. ¿A quién escuché ahí? Turuenti, hey. 28. Ya, yeah, 28. Sí. Yeah, the April. April. Ok, me estás diciendo en británico, right? 28. <laughs> April. Eh, 28 de abril. Very good. So you say 28 of April. El 28 de abril, like the British, yeah. But the Americans say April 28. Oh, right? 29. Ah, estamos 29, 29. Sorry. Thank you. Nos perdimos Thank un you. día. Ah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nos perdimos un día. Gracias por la corrección. Se han perdido cosas más importantes, no se preocupen. Okay, bueno, Are ya se da cuenta yo para el inglés, ¿ve? Ah. No, pero fue un problema de descoordinación solamente, ya. Yeah. <risa> problema, okay. problema técnico. Problema técnico. They are always date ordinal, ¿ya? ¿Se acuerdan lo que aprendimos el otro día, los números? First, sí. second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, etc. The month, 
the months when you say them or you write, sorry, you write them, use capital letters. Vamos a usar en la gramática inglesa siempre una letra mayúscula para abrir, escribir los meses. ¿Ya? A eso se refiere el capital letter, mayúscula. And the years usually divided in two. Las vamos a dividir en dos usualmente cuando son las fechas, los mil y tanto, mil y tanto, etc. Pero de los dos mil en adelante, de, de los dos mil lo vamos a decir así. 2000 and 2002, 2001, 2002, 2010, etc. ¿Ya? No vamos a decir 2000, vamos a decir 2010, no. Vamos a decir 2001, 2002, 2020, 2021, etc. ¿Ya? Entonces, ¿cómo sería el, el año en el que estamos ahora? How do you say the year? Sorry, Miss. 2021. 2021. 2021. Very good. I'm 21. Uh, Sorry, Miss. I can, I can see, I uh, can say, um, 2021 and separate in two uh, In two parts. Separarlo en dos partes. Yes. Mira, se dice así. Por, 2020, por ejemplo, estamos en el 2020, en el 2020, ¿ya? Pero sí, eh, la, la forma correcta es dividirlo en dos formas, pero desde el 2000 en adelante se va a decir así, con el 2000, 2000 y algo, 2020, para evitar la, los errores que puedan tener de comprensión, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, decir 2000, esa fecha quedaría muy fea decirla en dos partes, pues. we are in 2000, ¿te das cuenta? Por eso nosotros decimos después el 20, en el 2000, perdón, 2000, in 2001, 2002, 2010, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. Practíquenlo de esta forma. You're welcome. So, uh, how to organize your schedule? Schedule, esta palabra es nuestra eh, ruta, nuestra ruta de, de, de quehaceres, de organización, nuestro calendario, nuestro eh, como horario, etc. ¿Ok? How to organize your schedule according to your business. Uh, it's uh, what I'm going to tell you or request to do. So, here as you see, we have a calendar of May 20, is 2021. ¿Ok? So, Here, I wrote some activities that most of you do. For example, buy supplies. Buy supplies means comprar suplementos para tu negocio, etc. Some of you delivery, deliver, deliver, uh, I don't know, your crafts, deliver food, deliver, deliver um, I don't know, um, deliver the, the iron clothes, the, like in the... Um, se me olvida, Marie Lumu, no. La que tiene la laundry. What? Who is the one that has the laundry? Uh, uh, Blanca, no. Blanca? It is about uh, Pauli. Pauli, no. ¿Quién tiene la laundry, la lavandería? Ma Ay, gracias. Ay, mis, es que estoy con problemas de señal, Janet. Janet, Janet, you are the one de laundry, right? For example, maybe Janet, um, she buys supplies here on Monday. Um, uh, maybe on Tuesday she posts on Facebook. Um, maybe on Monday she also calls the product, calls the, I don't know, something that she sells on the laundry, whatever. Uh, but the main idea is that you have to describe what the main activities you do daily, monthly, weekly, etc. Okay. For that, I want you to know the adverse of frequency. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan que la clase anterior yo les pasé esto en la PPT? To use the adverb of frequency to describe your daily activities or monthly activities o weekly activity, o yearly activity, o annual activity, ¿ok? So, what basically we are going to do? Fill the calendar, ¿ok? Completar el calendario. Janet, 
Can you put the microphone up, please? Just a second. <laughs> Janet, te escucho con interferencia. Janet, ¿puedes poner el micrófono off? Oh, thank you. So, what we're going to do first is to fill the calendar in with some specific activities that you do on your business. Then, to check the adverse of frequency that we already seen, it's basically how often do you do, in order to describe them uh, here, for example, I buy supplies twice a month. I post my, face, my products on web once a week. So remember if someone else, uh, someone else <laughs> do this for you, you have to use the third person. For example, I don't post on Facebook, but uh, maybe uh, my partner, my partner post, post on Facebook. So she does it for me. So the verb, instead of the post, I, say, I add an S, post on Facebook, okay? Como lo que fuimos aprendiendo en la clase pasada. If someone else do it for you, you have to write the verb in third person. Escribimos el verbo en tercera persona, ¿ya? So, are you able to do it for the next class? Lo hacemos como una mini tareita para la próxima clase. Quiero que completen, yo se los mandé en, un, eh, en este documento que es como el support handout. I sent a calendar, eh, an empty calendar that you have to write. Maybe you did it, you don't, but for the next class I want to have, that's the one. To all the calendar is fulfilled with your main activities. Okay? ¿Lo hacemos para la próxima clase? It's okay, miss. It's okay. All right. Okay, miss. Yeah. We fulfill the calendar. We add um, a description in that part. This is my monthly schedule. And you describe what you do and how often you do these activities. Okay? So, using the adverse of frequency. Any thoughts about it? ¿Alguna duda sobre la tareita? ¿El trabajo que tenemos que hacer? In order to present it for the next class. Lo presentamos para poder presentarlo en la próxima clase y saber un poquito más en detalle de lo que tú haces con tu negocio. ¿Alguna duda sobre los adverbs of frequency? Eh, Miss? Tell me. Eh, eh, question. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tanto eh, se describe la actividad eh, en el This is my monthly student? ¿Qué tanto ¿Qué describir, por, por ejemplo? So, for example, uh, first, first of all, I want you to write every single thing that you do in your, uh, for your business, okay? So, for example, mm -hmm. even to, to clean the shop, it's important, right? So, if you clean the shop uh, daily or monthly or once a week, whatever, you have to describe it. So, the main activities that you do, at least identify seven of them. Identifica por lo menos siete, ¿ya, Marlene? Okay. Here I, I have like 10 uh, blanks, tengo 3, 10 espacios en blanco that you can use to describe. For example, as I said before, I clean the shop daily. I buy or I, uh, uh, I don't know, I buy supplies uh, twice a month. Ya, yeah? pero por lo menos siete, at least seven main activities. Is that okay for you? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo estamos con eso? Yes. ¿Con siete, seven? Okay. Thank okay. Me. Very good. So, eh, okay. okay. Uh, here in the touch, uh, the support handle, as you can see at the last part, we have the trans time transition words, okay? This is something that I want you to check as well. Quiero que chequen esta información que les mandé al final, the touch document, because there are words that I want you to use to improve your speaking, ¿ya? Para mejorar tu, tu, eh, tu forma de hablar, tu discurso, tu diálogo. I want you that you can use some of them. For example, the, trans eh, the time transition, 
like um, before, after, then, currently, meantime, once, next, first, second, etc. During the day, during the morning, during the afternoon, that you can add them to your uh, sentences. The sentence that you're going to write in here, maybe you cannot like during the morning or I, uh, I clean the shop twice a week during the morning. Yeah? For example, limpio la tienda dos veces por semana, pero en las mañanas. Okay? Or, for example, um, I buy supplies, then I clean the shop. Compro los insumos y luego limpio la tienda, no sé. Use connectors. Try to use them. ¿Podrían usarlos estos conectores para la descripción, por favor? For example, as I said before, de estos. Next, once, then, before, etc. Some of them that you don't know the meaning, you can find on web. Ya, tan facilitos, pero si hay algunos de ellos que no los conocen el significado, pueden buscarlo en Word Reference. O eh, use eh, one that is most common for you, ¿ok? Usar uno que es más común para ustedes. Por ejemplo, yesterday, eh, in the past, no sé, every time, ¿ok? Quiero que vayamos enriqueciendo nuestro vocabulario ya para hablar y agregando palabritas nuevas. Todo relacionado a lo que ustedes okay. hacen. ¿Ya? ¿Es that ok? So, ok, me thanks. That was for today. Um, I don't know if before we go closing, you have some doubts. Do you have any doubts with the homework? Mm -hmm. La tareita. ¿Estamos listos ya? Mm -hmm. Son dos yes, algunas dudas sobre las fechas, lo que vimos hoy día un poco más para aplicarlo. ¿Y cómo se dice emprendimiento? Enterprising. I'm going to write it in here. Enterprising. Emprendimiento. Enterprising. Ah. Okay, uh, here uh, there are two forms that are being sent. One is the form for attendance, okay, and the other one is the satisfaction form. So I request you please to fill the form to sign in there in the attendance list. And no doubt, hoy día quedamos mejor si con la clase ninguna duda. Hablamos harto, ¿ah? ¿eh? You talk a yes. lot. Estamos perdiendo el miedo ya después de tanto, de tanto sufrir. <laughs> <laughs> so, you feel more comfortable now? ¿Se sienten más seguras ahora, más confiadas? So, so, so. ¿Cómo va? So, so, so. More bless. You will see the next class is going to be better, even better. Ok, Bárbara. <laughs> We are all done for now, so um, do you have something to tell the, the class? Algo para decir a la clase, a los participantes? Las felicito a todas. Eh, la verdad es que eh, noto, noto su progreso. Así que muchas eh, pueden exportar sus productos, quiero que se atrevan. Y aprovechen estas oportunidades que son muy buenas y que el centro tiene para que ustedes puedan fortalecer sus herramientas como emprendedores y como empresarios. Y, por supuesto, pedirles que puedan completar el registro de asistencia y eh, la encuesta de satisfacción. Y, hay que acá de, de los emprendimientos. Sería bueno que nos pusiéramos, y como decía Rosy, es una economía circular, <ríe> eh, que nos vayamos recomendando, que vayan eh, tratando de a lo mejor de que alguien ofrece un producto que yo puedo necesitar, 
o vayamos trabajando de esta forma. Sigan todos los links que dejaron ahí. Y, no, excelente, excelente. You did a wonderful job, all of you. Very Miss, good. Tell me very soon, pero. Today is a natural day for, of the enterprising. So today is the, we celebrate the enterprising day, el día del emprendimiento. Yes. yes. Really? So happy for you. You're all celebrating your day. Ustedes son las que se están celebrando hoy día. So what we gonna do? We go for a party. Vamos a una fiesta. ¿Quién invita? La Vero. <laughs> The Miss. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be a virtual party. Ya, yeah, una fiesta virtual. Eh, Why did you say that before, Vero? Miss, Tell I will. It's Miss, okay. I will. You quiero, you quiero. I will go, go um, the tourist uh, route. The Vero es la que nombró varios lugares. Yes. Ella fue, ¿cierto? Yeah. Yes. Very interesting. Was. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I hear. She mentioned so many things, so many places. Uh, I also Todas invitadas. Them. Yeah, Vero. En serio, todas invitadas. Cuando Pero, maybe if you have a, a, a video that you can give us the link eh, about sí, the play. Yeah. Oh, uy, yes, eh, compartiré videos con ustedes, ¿ya? De, yeah. De la yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, okay. Here we can recommend your place and we can recommend your service as well okay thank you very much so it's all for now